so I'm with my mom today. I brought her the stove with me, but now we're going to go to Andum. It's like two hours ish away from Seoul, and we're gonna arrive there at like 1 to 11 right now. We almost missed our train. Okay, so I searched on neighbor what to eat here, and apparently the famous thing is like mackerel. You know mackerel? Mackerel. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the word in Malay. If you guys are worried about um, halal food spots, don't worry because this is what I've seen from here. Okay. So we're gonna eat um, grilled mackerel. I think that's like a special type of like grilled mackerel that they have here. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna test it out, okay? And I want to tell you guys the reason that we chose Andong like to come for like a little getaway trip, a two day, one night trip is because it's like closer, it's one of the closer cities to Seoul. It's only like two hours by train. And I just wanted to explore because apparently there's a lot of really cool places in Andong and it's like a really cool healing trip, you know, because it's out of the city. We don't want to go to like another busy city, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. How are you feeling? How are you liking it so Excited. far? Excited. <laughs> she just likes the fact that we're in a village. <laughs> I am feeling very out of place, but it's okay. I taught my mom how to take selfies. Yo, they put ice in the soup. Can you see that? They put freaking ice in the soup. It's cold. Cold seaweed soup. Mmm. It's so good. No. Oh, no. We made the right choice to come here. Okay, so right now it's 3.40, so I think we're gonna pray first and then head out. So our first stop is gonna be this place called Man Yu Dong. So it's, just, it's this really famous like filming area. It's actually where they filmed Mr. Sunshine. I watched it, I love the whole series, okay? So it's like this pavilion, I'm gonna show you guys later, but it closes at six apparently, so we gotta hurry. Um, it takes like an hour from here-ish, I think. So yeah, we're gonna go there first because that's the furthest from our Airbnb. Yeah, we'll see. We'll just head to the Man Yu Jong Pavilion first. So basically, aside from it being like a filming site, um, it's just really pretty. But I'm kind of like Ashiwa that we're not going in like autumn. Because I feel like going in, I want to go again in autumn because it's gonna be really pretty because like all the leaves are gonna be red and stuff. So the good thing about the Man Hijang Pavilion is that it's free and you ex and you can access it by taxi so you don't have to like, you know, like hike to get there and you don't have to pay anything. So it's the perfect place to go take pictures. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. This is where they filmed the Mr. Sunshine tea drama. Let's go. Thank you. 
we're now at Woryong-gyo, Woryong-gyo, or like Woryong Bridge. So this is apparently the longest walking bridge in Korea. So the reason it's, it's called um, Woryong-gyo, which is like literally translated to Moonlight Bridge, is because this river actually reflects the moon. So it's really pretty at night. And right now it's actually almost sunset. So I think we're gonna be able to see it soon. And this is actually once you walk all the way towards the end, there's like a museum there and then there's it's linked to like a folks village, like a traditional Korean folk village. sunset now or like it's already sunset they just turned on the lights on the bridge so it's really pretty look and now we're on our way to Andong folk village so it's just like a traditional folk village kind of like Bukchon Hanok Baul in Seoul but it's like Andong's version and there's like a Hanok cafe there that we're planning to go to because I need my coffee again but yeah Good morning! It is day two of Andong tour, <laughs> Andong Jalan Jalan. <laughs> and we are at Andong Minsokchon, which is like a folks village. It's like their cultural folk village. And yeah, we came, I took a taxi from our um, Airbnb and then we stopped like at the top of the hill there. And then now we're just gonna walk down. So this is what it was like in the olden days, you know what I'm saying? So look at that. I don't think they rebuilt this. So this is just like, they kind of like maintained it, I think. So we're at Andong Market right now. So it's just like this little cute, you know, marketplace, and there's a lot of like shopping stuff and food. But I don't think there's. We'll try to see if there's anything that we can eat, anything that's like seafood or whatever. So the famous dish here is something called cinta, which is like braised chicken. In Malaysia, we call it ayam masak kicap. So that's like the famous one here. I, I mean. It smells so good, but obviously we can't eat it because it's not halal. So we just decided to look around and now we're going to go to Andong Hawe Mao, which is like another folk village. I think there's also restaurants there, so we're going to try to find what we can eat over there. Guys, so we're at um, Andong Hawe village and I decided to get like a buggy. We have like a buggy tour. It's only like 30,000 won and then they take you all around the village. Yeah. It's so cute. 
그리고 여기 주민들이 다 살고 있어요. 아 진짜요? 예. 아. 아 숙소는 아니고 진짜 사람 사는 집. 예, 사람 사는. 아. Guys, this is cotton. It's cotton fields with the backdrop of the mountains. Wow. Ta da! This is a whole view of the village. Wow. Y'all, Queen Elizabeth was here. So we just arrived at Pyeongsan Taewon. So if you watch a lot of like historical K dramas, you would know that this is like a it's a Confucian academy where like they the scholars all like go to uni here, kind of. So this one is special because this is one of only 47 remaining like academies that weren't abolished when they reorganized it in like 1868, I think. So yeah, let's go. So we really are in the middle of like mountains. On. Let's go. Ooh. This is Gunting Highlands, y'all. Y'all, this is a toilet. <laughs> Mama, do you want a poo? No, 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 no. <laughs> I want a poo. It's a snail shaped toilet. Ooh. I kind of want to get like a top view, but I can't. I don't have a drone. Y'all, I'm risking my entire life to record this toilet. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't smell though. Yeah. It's not bad. So this is basically their university. <laughs> my mom is being my umbrella woman. So this is basically the university in the olden times. So there were like people wearing like the the traditional hanbok, I think, or like what the scholars wear. I think you can rent it, I'm not sure, but that was really cool. And they were all sitting around, like, I don't know, doing stuff. But it really felt like I was transported back in time, okay, to the olden eras. So yeah, that's it. Okay guys, so this wraps up our two-day, one-night trip in Andong. Hope you guys enjoyed our little video and I definitely recommend this, you know, for like anyone who's living in Seoul and they want like a quick, you know, healing trip to like recharge because definitely you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the city after a while, you know, so Andong is definitely the place to go, 10 out of 10. See you in the next video, bye!